Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to the 16th episode of my SPSS tutorial videos. Uh, so today we're going to take another look at the multiple linear regression with a mediating variable. Therefore, I strongly uh, advise you to watch episode 10 and episode 15 first, especially episode 15, because it explains the theory, so the basics of multiple linear regression with a mediating uh, variable. And today we're going to take a look at how you can then actually make calculations with those variables. But you need to like understand what a mediating variable is before you could actually make uh, calculations with those. So if you haven't watched episode 15 yet, then please do so. Uh, and furthermore, if this video is helpful to you, then please uh, subscribe to this channel and leave a like because I want to make this channel grow as much as possible. That's my big dream. So please help making BuzzPSS grow. Okay. So last episode, uh, we took a look at the uh, relationship between uh, the tier of your job. So tier one, two, three or four. And then at the relationship between that, that being the independent variable and your income being the dependent variable. So if you move up uh, a tier in your job, then with how, uh, with uh, what amount does your income increase? And in a, sing, uh, in a single, so a simple linear relationship, we found out that the, de that the relationship between your job there and your income is 19,800. So if you increase a job there, then your income increases with 19,800. But that uh, relationship was partly explained by salary. Because once we took salary into account, so we added it into uh, the regression model, so therefore making it a multiple linear regression model. Then we found out that salary also has a significant influence on income. Because if your salary increases with one, so you earn one euro extra, then your monthly income increased with 2774, which was significant. The effect of job on income was still significant and was still a really big amount, being 15,674. But it was slightly lower than the 19,800. So that showed that the total relationship of 19,800 is partly explained by the salary. And the direct effect between job and income was oh, is only 15,674, but is still significant. So today we're going to make uh, calculations with those. Because once you know this model, then you want to make, for example, uh, then you want to find out, for example, someone who works in a, a tier three job, so has a tier three job, and has the salary of let's say uh, 15 euros. How many? Uh, how much is his current income? And to calculate that, we're going to take a look at the formulas again. The, the upper formula is the formula for a simple linear regression. So the uh, dependent variable is the constant, also known as the intercept, plus the value of the first variable times the slope of the first variable. So in this case, that would be the dependent would be income is the slope of the, uh, is the constant plus uh, the job there, uh, the job there you have times in this case uh, the slope in the simple model was uh, 19,800 times 19,800. So this was in the simple linear regression if you only took a look at the relationship between job and income. But now we're going to do a multiple linear regression. So we're going to take a look at multiple independent variables. So why? is the dependent variable, which is income, because we want to find out the income of someone who has a tier three job and earns 15 euros an hour. So the B no, the B zero is the slope of the constant, also known as the intercept. And that is minus 30,211. And to explain once more what the constant is, the constant is the level of the dependent variable if all independent variables are zero. So if job is zero and salary is zero, then your income is the constant. In this case, this is a negative number. You can't have a negative income. It's just a theoretical number because I made a very quick 
uh, data uh, sheet over here, you can see it's only 25 respondents times three variables. So the minus, minus 35,000 isn't a, a real practical number, but in theory, if your job is tier zero, it doesn't even exist, and your salary is also zero, then your income would be minus 30,000. So the constant, also known as the intercept, is the level of the dependent variable, so income, if both independent variables are zero. So if your job is zero and your salary is zero. Well, so that's the start. So that's the B0. That's the slope of the constant. It's minus 30,211. 30,211. Uh, normally, you should also take uh, the uh, 0.210 into account, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave that out. Um, and you add to that the value of job times the slope of job. And you also add the value of salary times the slope of the salary. Salary. Okay, so income is minus 30,000, 211 plus, well, we said that it was a tier 3 job, so the value is 3, times the slope of job, well, the slope of the job is 15,674, 15,674, plus the salary that was given. Well, we've said we wanted to find out for someone who, who earns 15 euros an hour, times the slope of salary, which is, let's see, 2,774. And I'm rounding off everything. You should not do that. You should always take the decimals into account. But just for the sake of this video, I'm rounding off. Uh, and then you can just get your calculator and then you can calculate the outcome of this. I will quickly do so. So, and if you insert it on your calculator, you'll find out that the average income of this person is 58,421 euros. So this is how you can make a calculation with uh, with given val given values for the variables, so in this case the value of the job was a tier 3 job and the value of the salary was 15 euros and then you can uh, then you can fill in the formula with b0 being the uh, being this uh, constant so the intersect of the uh, independent variables y being the dependent variable x1 being the value of the first variable, independent variable, b1 being the slope of the first independent variable, plus the value of the second independent variable times the slope of the second independent variable. And if you then insert that in a nice line and use your calculator, they will get to an income of 58,421 and you can just practice with this. I could also have taken, for example, a tier one job who earns uh, 12 euros an hour, but for now I'm not gonna do that. I think that this example is pretty clear. Uh, so this was how to do calculations with uh, mediating variables. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. If it was, then please leave, uh, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe. If you have any questions regarding uh, uh, multiple linear regression with mediators, then please let me know uh, in the comment section down below. And then I'll try to answer your question as soon as possible. Uh, so the next video will be about a specific method using mediating variables. I got to do that first. And then afterwards, I'll discuss uh, moderating variables. So that will come in the very near future, somewhere in the next week. But for now, guys, I hope that this uh, video was helpful for you. Um, and please don't forget to leave a like and then I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.